Thank you for joining me again as we continue our devotional time taken from the book of Proverbs. Uh, this is a unique and sometimes challenging book with all of its insights, but nevertheless designed to help us in our growth and our walk with the Lord. We're going to be reading from the 19th chapter, beginning at verse 20 today, and read through 23. Listen to advice and accept instruction. In the end, you will be wise. We live in a very, very challenging time, perhaps more challenging than any other time in our personal history. And um, listening to good advice and accepting instruction uh, that is well-crafted and given uh, with good intent uh, is a wise thing to do. And uh, the scriptures encourage us to do that, not only in our daily lives, but especially in our relationship with the Lord. Verse 21, many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. How profound is that insight to us today? Many are the plans in a man's heart. All of us have plans and dreams and and uh, desires that we want to see fulfilled. But what persons of faith, what Christians have discovered, is that despite all of the dreams and plans that we may have, our wisdom calls us to seek and to find the Lord's purpose, because it is His purpose that prevails, that brings health, that brings a place of security, a place of rest for us. Many plans in a man's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. Let us seek that passionately. In the verse 22, a man's greed is his shame. Better to be poor than to be a liar. All you have to do is explore the internet and look at all kinds of stories about persons who have chosen to lie to gain uh, material wealth. And uh, we discover that often, more often than not, they come to a very disastrous end. And what the proverb writer is trying to say to us today, that greed brings shame. Better to be poor than to be a liar. Better to be a person of integrity than someone who is deceitful and full of deception. What an incredible insight for us in this unique time that we find ourselves in. And then the last verse, the fear of the Lord leads to life. Then one rests content, untouched by trouble. I just want us to be reminded that when the word fear is used in the Hebrew context, it means profound and utter reverence of who God is. It's akin to the great commandment, love the Lord your God, with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. The word love is often misused in our culture, but when we define it by the great commandment, loving God in that way, it gives direction and purpose, depth and integrity. And here this passage is, the fear of the Lord leads to life. Our reverence of him deeply and profoundly leads to life. And when we have discovered life in God, then we can rest content, untouched by trouble. Jesus, when he met the woman at the well, told her that if she were to drink from his water, to receive his water, she would never, ever thirst again. And that is consistent with that last proverb that we've had here, that if we find our life in God, if we find our life in Christ, if we recognized him in a deep, profound way, and that recognition shapes who we are and shapes our decision, then we can discover that we can be content and we can be untouched by the trouble 
that surrounds us regardless of the generation of which we are a part. Well, may these words from the Lord encourage, strengthen, and give you guidance as you finish this week. May the Lord bless you.